Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Erica and welcome to my channel. If you guys have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, I have been hearing a lot of stories that the YouTube algorithm has been changing a little bit. So do not forget to turn on your notifications so you guys do not miss a video. I know that I have been slacking on my uploading, but I promise you guys I will be uploading more videos. So for today's video, I kind of didn't really want to do my makeup because um, I've been breaking out a little bit and my skin's been like super sensitive and not really feeling the whole makeup vibe. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna film something that doesn't require me doing my makeup. So for today's video, I'm gonna be letting you guys know which ones are my favorite brushes from different brands and different uh, price ranges. So oh, also I am gonna be putting a mask on because you know what? Like, why not? So I'm going to be wearing a mask throughout the video, so please do not judge me. But yeah, if you guys would like to see this video, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Mask. I'm going to be wearing um, the Queen Helen Mint, Mint Julep Mask. It looks like this. I've been wearing this mask for a couple of months now. So yeah, I'm just going to be putting that all over the face. Um, while I'm doing this, I just want to mention to you guys that... I am having a giveaway going on. I'm not 100% sure when to end it, but don't forget to go enter. I am giving away a brush set and a highlighter. I will be leaving the link on the description down below so you guys do not forget to go enter. Okay, so I'm going to start off with foundation brushes. And I have quite a few foundation brushes that I really like. Oh like ranging from price point the very first one would be this one this is the morphe e6 it looks like this this is like my top 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 like my favorite if i'm if i'm not mistaken i think this one is 15 dollars i'm not 100 percent sure but this is what it looks like it is the morphe e6 this is a flat top kabuki brush it is super, super, super soft, and it does not leave streaks whatsoever. Like, this is, if you're looking for a good foundation brush, I definitely recommend you guys buy this one. Like, it is the bomb.com. Okay. okay, next, it is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, which looks like this. Um, this one's more rounded at the top. It's not really a flat top. This is what it looks like. Um, this one is $6.00. I got this one at Walmart, I believe. It also works really, really, really good. If you guys are looking for something a little bit more economical, this one is the brush you want. And then lastly, I have these other three. This is the Wet n Wild Flat Top Foundation Brush as well. So I got this one at Walgreens for $2.99. I really, really like this one. I just never really, really, really reach for it because I have this one. Basically works exactly the same. Um, so if you guys are looking for a dupe for the flat top kabuki brush from um, Morphe, I definitely recommend you guys check out the Wet n Wild flat top foundation brush. This other foundation brush that I have is from a brush set from the Shop Miss A brush set and this is the AOA Studio F23. They do not sell this individually, but with the brush set it is $10. This is also a flat top kabuki brush. This does have a little bit less bristles than the morphe one so it is a little bit more um flimsy i definitely definitely recommend you guys check out the brush set it, the last foundation brush it is from a doe color brush set i do have a discount code with them this is on the smaller side i actually use this to blend out either my cream contour or concealer before foundation this is a doe color brush and it's it's in, it's in the number two brush so those are all for the foundation brushes and moving on to powder so these are um two of my favorite brushes that i like to use um this is the morphe e41 people always ask me what brush this is this is what it looks like it is huge it is a really really good foundation brush my dog just started eating this one retails for 23 dollars it is a little bit more on the pricier side, but this is the one that I usually like reach out the most. The next one that I like to use, it is the Morphe MB1. I'm not 
how much this one costs but I'm pretty sure it's between 15 to 20 dollars this is what it looks like this is more of a flimsier flat um, powder brush I also like using these other two for powder this is the Morphe R7 which looks like this it's a little dirty or what is it and last but not least this is also a doe color brush and I like using this one for powder as well this is from the midnight summer night dream set I think that's what it's called um, it has like rainbow hair it is super super cute um, I definitely like this one for setting the face as well okay so moving on into bronzer for bronzer I like using this brush right here this brush is a BH Cosmetics brush that came in a brush set for 10 brushes. I think it was $12.99. And this is what it looks like. And it has a pink, like, marble handle, which is super, super cute. And it just says BH Com Cosmetics number 2. I will be leaving a link to the brush set down in the description box as well. Another con another bronzing uh, brush that I like is also from the AOA Studio um, brush set. It looks like this. And this one is kind of like domed shaped at the top, which I really, really like because it really gets into the, like, girl, I don't know what it's called, but you know what I mean. Okay, so next for bronzing, I also like to use um, this BH Cosmetics brush, which is the number 10, which is from the same uh, brush set. And this is what it looks like. It's super, these brushes are so soft, guys. Um, these brushes were sent to me by Doe Color, and guys, they are by far the softest brushes I have ever felt. Definitely recommend you guys check them out, and they're super, super cheap. Like, it's like 12 brushes for like $20, which is not expensive whatsoever. Guys, I will be leaving a link to all the brush sets down in the description down below, as well as the Morphe brushes. I will leave it linked every single brush, so you guys can go check them out if you guys are interested. So these are the two brushes that I like to use for my nose contour. And this is the Morphe. The name actually came off, but I will be leaving it linked down below. I will find it and I will link it down below for you guys. This is what it looks like. It's really thin and it really gets into like the small areas. You can contour even um, your cheekbones with this, your nose. And then this is the other one. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one's um, about eight or nine dollars and this one was only two dollars this is the elf contouring brush this is what it looks like um these are what i like to use to like define 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 the contour to contour the actual face i like to use angled brushes this is like one of my favorite 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 brushes this is a morphe brush this is the r14 it's like a fluffier brush it's not really angled but this is what it looks like this is like the one that i reach out for the most and what i like about it is that it's like the goat hair so it really blends out the powder really really good but this is what it looks like and then the rest that i like to use are angled brushes so this other one is a morphe mb4 i don't really use this one that much this is what it looks like i feel like this one's a little bit like too chubby for to contour the face and I like a little bit more of a defined brush. So I kind of reach out more for this one, which is my dope color brush brush. It looks like it's fluffy, but it's kind of thin. So that's what I like about it. I do have a discount code. It will be down below. And then last but not least, I do have this one by Wet n Wild, which I also really, really like using. It is almost exactly like this one. This one just has a little bit more fullness to it. But I definitely recommend you guys check out the Wet n Wild brush set. It is super, super good and super, super economical. Okay, so now for blush, I don't really have a lot of brushes. I just use two that are like my all-time favorite for blush. And my two favorite ones are either this one by Doe Color. It is super, super fluffy. As you guys can see, it's super pink because it's the one that I use the most. My cheeks are kind of big, so I don't like using something that's smaller because then it just concentrates in one area and i do like bringing my blush up up to my contour so i love using this one by doe color and then i also have this other one by the bh cosmetics brush set which looks like this so moving on to highlight i don't really like highlighting 
with fan brushes whatsoever i just i don't like them i feel like it just leaves like a line i like using fluffy brushes so what i like to use is this morphe r40 i did used to own another one of these fluffy brushes it had black hair i do not know what happened to it it just vanished it disappeared never to be found again so that's the only one i um have that i use for eyeshadow brushes some of my favorite eyeshadow brushes are from the shop Miss a brush set um i've been using it like forever now not forever but you know for a good while so this is what the brush set looks like well obviously i already took some of the brushes off but it's just black one of my favorite brushes does come in that brush set and it is this one right here this is the aoa studios e135 and it looks like this like i said this brush is only one dollar because the brush set is ten dollars the other brushes are all from another shop miss a brush set which is only eye brush i dropped one and this is all um Ten dollars, so it's only a dollar a brush, and these are two of my favorite. Wait, three, four. These four are my favorite blending brushes, right here, and they all come in that brush set. It is the E one thirty, E one twenty seven, E one twenty six, and E one twenty eight. So this is what they look like, and like I said, it's one dollar for each brush. And I also have some other brushes that I definitely, definitely recommend you guys try out wet and wild has by far the best brushes if you are a beginner i definitely recommend you guys try out the wet and wild brushes they are super super fluffy super good with blending they're just the bomb so these are two of my favorite wet and wild brushes they're obviously super dirty because these are the ones that i reach out for the most um, this is the wet and wild crease brush and then this is the wet and wild smaller crease brush so this is what they look like I like to use this for a transition shade and then this one for, to, to like define the crease. So these are the two of my favorite brushes. Last two that I like for eyeshadow are by Morphe. This is a Morphe R39, which is super dirty, but it looks like this. This is goat hair, so it really helps with blending out the shadow. And then last but not least, this is the Morphe E28. I like to use this for a light transition shadow. And this is what it looks like for cream contour I forgot to tell you guys that I like these two this is the morphe g34 which looks like this I don't normally do cream contour but when I go out I do like to wear cream contour because I really like for my face to look really really snatched and contoured and this is one of my all-time favorites this is like a super old brush that I have and I always use it for cream contour this is the small stipple brush by elf this is what it looks like and this one really really helps out blend out the cream contour definitely definitely recommend okay. so that is wait i am missing brows honey brows 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 so for the longest time for my brows i've been using the wet and wild brow brush which looks like this it's only a dollar i literally always restock these at the dollar tree they are by far my favorite uh brushes i have so many of them like it's not even funny wet and wild um angled brush but i have really 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 been loving the delancey 390 which looks like this it comes in a brush set the brush set looks like this guys i believe it's um 23 dollars and it is a 16 piece brush set i definitely recommend so this is what the brush looks like and this is the reason why i like it guys it is super super thin and it really like gets right where i need it to be it doesn't go over or under because it's so thin that i can really really work with it and once again this is the delancey 390 and yeah i think that is basically it for the brushes i need to go take this mask off because it is really really dry but uh, like i said i will be linking all the brush sets down below go do not forget to go enter the giveaway guys 
And I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This video is going to be... Also, do not forget to turn on your notifications on. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.